Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this ridiculously delicious meatball sub sandwich that is dripping with homemade red sauce, melted mozzarella, and of course, tender homemade meatballs, all sandwiched between a perfectly toasted Italian roll. With that said, let's dive into the recipe. First up on the list is getting the meatballs seasoned and ready to cook. So in a large metal mixing bowl, you're gonna add in the ground turkey. Then you're gonna add in the chopped garlic and onions. Make sure to reserve some for the rolls and red sauce later on. Then you're gonna finely chop up the rosemary, thyme, and oregano and add that to the mix as well. Once that's all in the metal mixing bowl, season it with some salt and fresh cracked black pepper and bring out any stale bread that you might have in the back of the fridge. Just make sure it's not moldy and cut it into small squares. Add the now breadcrumbs to the bowl and start giving it a really good mix with your hands preferably, but a vigorous mixing with a spoon will work as well. Just make sure to not forget the Parmesan cheese and a good splash of olive oil to this mix Turkey can be a bit dry, so adding a little fat to it will really help it stay moist during the baking process, plus Parmesan cheese adds a beautiful flavor. Anyways, gently roll up the meatballs, a little bit smaller than the size of a golf ball, I would say, and when they are all rolled up and ready, bake them in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how dark you want them to be. Sometimes I even turn on the broiler uh, for the last five minutes just to get a really beautiful char on the meatballs. Okay, so while the meatballs are in the oven, it's time to whip up a very, very simple, sweet and tangy red sauce. So get a medium saucepan on medium to high heat with a generous splash of olive oil in it and add in the garlic and herbs that you reserve from the meatballs and fry those for about one to two minutes. After that, you're gonna add in the tomato paste and cook for another two minutes until all the flavors have come together and it just starts to stick to the bottom of the pan. Once it's there, you're gonna add in the red wine to deglaze it and reduce this for about 20 minutes on low heat. Just make sure to season it with salt and pepper to taste. Um, you can also add a little bit of water if you feel like it's a little bit too thick. All right, so really one of the last things on the list is the toasty rolls that will be the home for our meatballs. So in the same bowl that you had the herbs, garlic, and onions in, add in some olive oil to it to make a savory oil to brush on the rolls. Once the bread has been slit, generously brush the bread with that um, savory oil and toast the bread under a broiler for about two minutes or until the bread is slightly charred around the edges. All right, so now comes the fun part. You're gonna add the roasted meatballs to the red sauce and give them a solid coating, and it is finally time to build the sandwich. To assemble this beautiful sub, you're gonna scoop about four to five meatballs that are drenched with the sauce onto the toasted roll. Then you are gonna place a few leaves of basil across the top, then two slices of mozzarella cheese, and all of this is gonna go back into the broiler for another two minutes to get all melted and wonderful. Once it's ready, you're gonna pull it out of the oven, slice it straight down the middle, and enjoy one of the best meatball subs you'll ever have made by your very own hands. Mm -hmm. 
What's up guys? Okay, I am very excited to test out the meatball sub that I made today. This looks fantastic. The, the bread, I'm very excited about the, that herb, garlic bread with the olive oil. This is a very simple recipe as you guys saw. Everybody has their own unique meatball recipe or those, um, those of you who make meatballs. This is simple, you know, stale bread that I've had in the fridge for a week and I need to use turkey meat as opposed to pork and beef, which is very traditional to meatballs. And I just, you know, thought it was a great utilization of the ingredients that I had in my fridge. Plus I made this a few times for my family and they absolutely love it. All right, I'm gonna stop gabbing and just uh, dive into my meatball sub. Okay. Mm. Excuse me, but that was fantastic. Great sandwich. Good choice of bread. You want that really fluffy, but um, crusty kind of rolls that you can find at the, you know, your bakery at the local grocery store. You really wanna have that, you know, sturdy outer crust, soft inside, and then that toasted layer. It really just kind of lends itself to the meatballs because they're so tender and full of the um, sweet tomato flavor, lots of herbs, and that fried garlic and onion flavor as well. Um, and there's just a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese in the meatballs kind of just elevates the richness a bit, along with the olive oil in there. Um, plus turkey meat can kind of be lean, and a lot of meatball recipes have pork in it, so you kind of substitute some of the fat um, with either olive oil or a little extra cheese. Sometimes even egg, I don't put eggs in my meatballs just because I feel like it binds it a little bit too much. Um, I like them kind of not falling apart, but with slight crevices in them so that the the sauce can penetrate a little bit easier. Of course, the, the fresh basil is a great touch. You could really um, sense the herbaceous, that herb flavor in there, because um, you can visualize it as soon as you see the sub. And the mozzarella cheese just kind of melts everywhere as uh, you would expect. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this meatball sub. I know lots of people have their own meatball recipe, so hope you guys enjoyed my, uh, my take on it. If you guys did, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, check my description box for equipment links and the uh, the full list of ingredients for this recipe. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you always get my, uh, my new videos coming out just so you can keep up to date with uh, some really good recipes. And I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.